First time U.S. men and women's national soccer players will get the same prize money. That's right, same prize money, including World Cups. Under landmark agreements now with the U.S. Soccer Federation, the deals and years of public disputes and litigation over what is considered equal pay. ABC News contributor and USA Today columnist Christine Brennan joining me live for more. Christine, I can't believe we are finally talking about an agreement. Let's talk about the deal. And I'm sure players are elated. Kira, they are. And yes, it is hard to believe that it took basically 30, 35 years for these women who are some of the most iconic athletes, male or female, in the country and the world. The names trip off the tongue. Mia Hamm, Brandi Chastain, Julie Foudy, Abby Wambach, Megan Rapino. They are heroes to girls and boys, men and women. And for all these years, they've had to fight for equal pay. And they do have it today. Uh, an amazing deal. The, the big part of it for me is that all the World Cup money for the men and the women will be pooled together and shared. And the significance of that, the men's World Cup is so much bigger than the women's World Cup. It's been going on for so many more decades. The women just started in 1991. So the fact that the U.S. will be the first nation to give all of its male and female World Cup players the same money, even though the men's World Cup champion uh, France uh, in, uh, several years ago received $38 million and the U.S. women, by winning in 2019, received only $4 million. So 10 times as much money for the men, but the men are saying, and U.S. soccer saying, these US, the women are worth it. They're so powerful. They bring fans and viewers to the game to then watch the men, uh, that they're going to share that money. And that's an extraordinary step and, of course, the correct and right step to be happening finally now today. Yeah, it's it's just so great to be talking about it. And you know what? It's been a bitter fight, too, at times. I mean, six years of litigation between the members of the U.S. Women's National Team and the U.S. Soccer Federation. So how did we get to this moment? What do you think finally happened? Public opinion, I think, uh, a PR mm -hmm. campaign. Uh, this has been a PR nightmare for U.S. soccer, which, by the way, the president is a woman, Cindy uh, Cohn, Cindy Parlo Cohn, who was part of the 99, the iconic 99 team that won in the Rose Bowl with Brandy Chastain, et cetera. So a woman's leading the organization. She certainly wanted to get this done. She's a trailblazer herself. But um, it's just, it, it looked terrible for U.S. soccer to be telling its women's team so much more successful than the men's. Four Olympic gold medals, four World Cup titles. They're always perennially there. If they're not winning it, they're in the final or semifinal. They're getting all the headlines the men are not and for them to be saying that they're not equal uh that of course wasn't going to last and now we know the result it, it's a wonderful day for soccer and for all women's sports well i hope it sets a precedent for other women's sports and i hope we're talking about other new deals christine brennan thank you so much thank you kira Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.